We are jo joined by Hawaii head coach Charlie Wade and student athletes Keone Tibb and Guillermo Voss after a 3-0 defeat in the semifinals of the Hawaiian Islands presents the 2024 Outrigger Big Rest Men's Volleyball Championship. Coach, if you would please just start us off with an opening statement about tonight's match. Yeah, um, pretty high level stuff for uh, through those first two sets, really entertaining. Um, you know, I'm watching that and just going, wow, the, I mean, the level of play in the Big West since its uh, inception has been really, really impressive. You know, three of the t teams in the top five the whole year and, and obviously w watching the play of uh, Santa Barbara, San Diego, tonight Northridge, it, you know, you have to be really impressed with the level of play in the Big West. You know, watching Heno out there tonight, National Player of the Year candidate. If he's not the leader, I don't know who is. And the Player of the Year literally has come from the Big West every year since before the league even started. I mean, all the way back uh, 18. I mean, there's a long run of um, really high-level players. I think you saw the National Player of the Year out there tonight. That was an incredible performance. So hats off to Irvine and, uh, you know, looking forward to um, a great match tomorrow between those two teams. Open it up to questions from media. Yeah. Uh, Billy Ho with the Star Advertiser. Coach, um, you know, losing's never kind of fun, but just especially with those two first sets that are so close that a couple little things here and there could have gone differently. Um, one, just kind of how tough were those couple of sets? And then two, with the, with the way it's been an up and down these last six weeks, um, how proud are you with the way the team came out and played in this match tonight? Yeah, super proud. I mean, we were hitting 400 after two sets and down 2-0. Um, like I said, high-level stuff. We were playing pretty good and just a play here, a play there. You know, our, our serving wasn't really up to our standard. That's something that's defined us for years, and um, it just wasn't up to the challenge tonight. You know, it, uh, it, it allowed us to go on some runs at certain times, but at the end... Um, too many errors um, for us really to, to push through and win those sets. But super proud of the guys. I mean, that was a, a battle, like I said, and um, just kept fighting and some real gutty performances from a lot of our guys. And then, uh, G, it's just been a memorable career for you here at Hawaii. Just kind of, what are your kind of emotions right now? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's been a wonderful few years here in Hawaii. And I think this year was like all the others, still very memorable. I think that this team more than maybe any other one because we had to deal with so many um, rough patches along the way really showed a lot of fight and I couldn't be prouder of them. Dave Burden with the Star Advertiser. Um, but you guys, uh, can you remember the last time you were involved in something that went as long as that second set or is have, have you been in one of those anything like that before i don't remember the last time I went that long i'm sure it's happened but i'm getting kind of old my oh yeah it was second, uh, set, second set in ucla last year in the national championship match was a bit of a barn burner but i'm old my memory's getting bad so <laughs> derek had to remind us when uh, brett was uh here we asked the uh, if it helps a little bit that he knows you guys, you know, played with you guys for so long. If and he said it did help them a little bit, set up a game plan. And um, is that something that you guys also felt like maybe you had to counteract in any way while you were preparing? Yeah, I mean, anytime with league opponent, I mean, that's the fourth time we've played them this year. So there was no real surprises. We knew they were going to set number 20 a lot. Uh, and they did. And even I, I asked Louie the other day, like, how long he's been playing uh, with Heno because they're they're on the national team together. He said they've been playing together for ten years. Um, they've known each other a long time. Very familiar with each other and good friends. Uh, Brian McInnes with Spectrum News for uh, G. On the subject of Heno, I think last time you guys saw him at at the Bren, uh, you guys held him to one oh something hitting. Um, what did you see as the difference tonight? How tough was he con to contain tonight? Yeah, I mean, hats off to him. He absolutely showed up and, like Charlie said, had a player of the year performance. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do to stop one of those guys, and he had a career night. He served 17 times without an error, besides all the attacking that he did. You know, for a guy that likes the serving, that to me was impressive. I think he served one out and we played it. <laughs> um, 
he only had one hit in there. The other ball he hit out, we netted. Um, it was impressive, no doubt. And uh, one for you, Keone. Um, what can you say about, you know, especially this conference season, how uh, you, you battled your way into a uh, pretty prominent role after Spiros went out? And um, how, how do you, what do you take away from this uh, last several weeks? Well, it wasn't easy. Um, honestly, I'm just proud. There's a lot of grit, uh, a lot of ups and downs, especially when Spiros went down. You know, it was just a, it was just a fight every day in the practice gym, and uh, I'm proud. I'm proud I didn't give up. Just kept going, kept fighting, and uh, it was just good to see everyone. Kind of, I don't think anybody left with any regrets. We kind of put our hearts out there. So, yeah. Uh, Couch and in Hawaii News now, uh, Keone, uh, for you to uh, you know. Kind of talk about obviously an emotional night, but mm -hmm. you know what does this do for for you guys and and the guys that are returning next year? You know what what does a game like this kind of do for you guys going into, you know, um, into the, into the future? Uh, I think for now, it'll just be a feeling of gratefulness. You know, so many people who support us and love us, whether we win or lose, and especially for like the juniors and a little bit older guys that I've been with like G and Chaz, them. It's like just grateful to be alongside them. So that's probably what we'll be thinking about for now. Uh, but once we rest and recover and kind of get our heads wrapped around how things are, then it's just it's just work, right? Just to try and be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. Um, Chris Mishobuku, KHON. Coach, um, what do you make of the team's at-large chances on Sunday? I'd say that's about zero. Uh, coach, just a couple years from now, you're sitting back and you think back to this season. Um, what do you think you'll remember the most about this 2024 year? Mm, great question. Um, I guess I'll see how good we are in a couple of years. Uh, <laughs> because I, you know, I said to the guys at the end there, and, and you know, we've gotten we don't really debrief too much, like in the moment, right after. You know, I like to reflect a little and kind of analyze some stuff, but um, we certainly saw a lot of development from a lot of different guys. You know, some guys were forced into action. Um, you know, guys like Keone that have been here for a while and, and got a chance. You know, we just saw a lot of growth and development um, from the young guys. And then, you know, some veteran guys like G that have been here really had to step up and not only p play statistically at a, at a higher level, but, um, you know, take more of a leadership role in the team. So just really proud of the just like I said, the growth and development from so many guys throughout the roster, even guys that you, you that you guys never see, like a Justin Todd, who's been you know kind of a lot more reps on the B side and stuff. That are just um, seeing the development of those kind of guys. I think you're going to see uh, down the road that um, this year was uh, really uh, significant in their development. And then just uh, lastly for me, you know now that the season's over. I mean, can you really kind of paint a picture of just what kind of grind it was this Big West season, having to deal with what you had to deal with, having to play on the fly, having to get all these guys, different combinations? Just how much of a grind kind of was this Big West season this year? Well, it's always a grind. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've had, whether it's been my wife or it's other people, like, just say, you look like you're always pissed off. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I love my job, but it's not like, ha ha, funny, this is great. Like, it's always a grind. Like, there's a lot going on. And um, so, you know, this year certainly pre created or presented some unique challenges. You know, I've been here, the head coach, for 15 years. We never had an ACL. And, you know, and, and to have it happen to our player of the year candidate and one of the top players. And so there were some unique things about it. But at the end, you know, it's just part of the journey. It's just part of it. You know, you do this long enough, you're going to experience a little of everything. And um, so, you know, for me, like I said, as as the season started to present some very unique challenges to me, that was that's the opportunity for me to kind of learn and help these guys navigate through it because life is going to give you some, you know, deal you some rough lumps and, and create some adversity. And it's, it's how you deal with the adversity that will define you and, and, and help you to be able to navigate through, through life. So I hope that, you know, through my leadership and the rest of the coaches on staff that, you know, we presented a good, um, you know, environment for the guys to, to learn how to handle adversity and are, are not only 
better volleyball players for it, but uh, better men for it in the future. I got uh, one last one for G and, and Coach. Um, the way it started out after they scored the first point, you guys were just destroying the middle with Kirk serving, and, and even after you know a couple plays after that, what did they do differently or to counter that and change things? I wouldn't say that it was that much something that they did. Our middle, like it or not, it's a very hard position to play when you're paired up with such a new relationship and. I had had four years to work with Jakob. I've only had one year with Tread, unfortunately. So I know that we would have been a great duo if we had more time to work. Unfortunately, I also didn't have enough time this year to put into the gym and get the reps that I needed. So it was just a little bit of everything. It must have been a, a lot of fun, though, those first few minutes. So. <laughs> uh, TJ Bashir's VB Elo report. Uh, you know, you mentioned we got to see some world-class volleyball first two sets. Uh, this is a semifinals of a conference tournament. I mean, what does this say about the state of men's volleyball in the country and you know, even internationally? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's the game has changed a lot. You know, whether you look at five years to ten years, you know, there's just it's so physical and so dynamic. You know, the speed of the serve, the speed of the offense is like everything is has changed a lot and um, you know you're seeing guys from the big west uh, that end up going and playing at the highest level in the world professionally guys that represent their country all over the world whether it's on the u.s national team or whatever national team they they represent and they're they're signing big contracts and they're playing for big dollars all over the world you literally have the best of the best on a global level playing in the big west night in and night out Thanks so much, and thanks for the hospitality this week to you and all of the Hawaii staff here. Thanks. Yeah, and, and look, I think I think we all deserve a, a shout out to, uh, I, I said the other night, to Governor Green, to the Hawaii Tourism Authority, to, you know, Jeff Wagner and Sean D at Outrigger Hotels. You know, we're really fortunate to have that kind of uh, support here in our community, and we'll continue to bring events uh, like this to, uh, to Honolulu. Thank you. Thank you.